Hello YouTube. This is an alcohol review on Crown Royal Maple. Saw this on the shelf. Have tried Crown Royal in the past. Liked it to a point. Mainly when I cut it with a Coke or something. And when I saw this, it sounded very, very promising. So it's, it's in the classic bottle, as you can see. Uh, it does come also in the standard bag. But the interesting part is the bag is brown, unlike the purple from the standard Crown Royal or black from the Crown Royal Black. When you open it up, you can smell, obviously, a Crown Royal. But man, it has a maple to it like pancakes. So if you like good smelling, or sweet smelling alcohol, this is it. But it pretty much goes over the um, the Crown Royal alcohol smell. It's so dominant of the sweet maple syrupy, and I mean syrupy. I'm gonna my cup here. Three cubes. Let's see. Let's go down. And there we go. All right. Voila. Has a nice amber shade to it. It's an overwhelming sweet of maple with the uh, alcohol crown roll in the background. It has that kick that you expect from crown royal. Not a huge punch in the nose, but it does have a. Um, a definite kick. <coughs> but there's so overwhelming sweet to this that it makes it a little, how to say, it makes it hard to take it seriously. Such as like a Jack Daniels or Wild Turkey or a Soco, where you know you sip it definitely, it is whiskey. This is so sweet that it tends to, I wouldn't like want to say nullify, nullify the sweetness to it, but it does tend to get awfully close to equaling it out. This is not exactly soda pop, but then again, it's not exactly, well, I hate to call it manly, but no hair has been growing on your chest from this stuff. I would call it a, you know, this would be a nice woman's drink, but I don't know. I myself like things that are on the sweet side, and this is sweet, almost too sweet. Drinking it straight, he like said, it's not bad, but um, it definitely wants to be cut with something. Um, let's say Sprite, you know, a, a lemon lime soda. Instead of dropping a name there, a lemon lime soda would be good with this. A um, a cola, also fairly good with this as well too. But when you open up the bottle and you get a good sniff of this stuff, it gives you a very good idea of what it's going to taste like. And that pancakey comes rolling out hard. And then it's pretty much is neutralized by the crown oil. It's literally as if somebody just took maple syrup and blended in uh, 4060 in a bottle of crown oil. If you like crown oil, this would be a nice alternative just to break up the um, the norm. If uh, you like something sweet. You'll love this sort of stuff. Just this little bit right now. You feel things kind of warm up a bit. So it's not a, a wimpy whiskey, but the smell and the taste, it's almost like kid stuff. If you allow children to drink whiskey. I don't know what you do in your home, but that wouldn't be allowed in mine. But uh, holidays maybe, something like that. As for an everyday drink, mm. 
Not unless you cut it with something. And not unless you really like this meat. That, that would be my recommendation. Every day, cut it straight. Mm. Christmas. Great thing for Christmas. Uh, every once in a while in the winter, I guess, because uh, the, the pancake uh, smell to it. But I feel that now I'm just simply going in, 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 into circles over this whole thing. It's sweet. Smells sweet. If you like it sweet, it's your thing. If you don't like it sweet, uh, it'll break from the norm. That's about all, all I can say for it. Give it a try. Let the rest of the uh, YouTube universe know what you think. And um, yeah, keep on drinking. Thank <laughs> you.